Hello guys, Max here from Eternal Studio and today we will be testing this new guy on the block called Hertz Drums. It's a new drum simulation software or drum sampler, call it what you want. And if names such as Behemoth, Decapitated or Vader say something to you, then you should know that it's the guys from Hertz Recording who are the ones who recorded those bands. And now they brought us their first drum product. Do we need another drum library? Is it up to par? We'll find it out in a minute or so. Anyway, it will be a long enough video. So you'd better get some tea or beer and be sure to grab some snacks too. It's not a paid review, Hertz Drums didn't pay me to make one, but they sent me a copy of their product, so I can come up with my own opinion and share my experience with all of you guys. Now let's roll. It was the year 2005 or 2006, almost 17 years ago, when I first heard about drum simulation plugin. I'm talking about Drum Kit from Hell by East West Quantum Leap. Can't describe how we, a young metal band, were excited about getting these. They were played by Thomas Harker from Meshuga. How cool is that? We wanted to get them in no time, but they cost a lot for us, so we spent money on booze instead. And it was more fun, because let's be honest, those drums were not that great, to say the least. And years later, I discovered Toontrack is a drummer too, and my journey through drum sims began. I love drum sims. Not all of them equally, but it's my guilty pleasure. And now, onto the subject of the topic. So, when I saw a first advertisement video of Hertz drums, I was like, they have two separate kicks and five toms, shut up and take my money. Because you know what? I love having a lot of toms and two kicks. Some genres require it. You can't go with two or three toms and one kick in metal, it's just not enough. If you wanna do some power or symphonic metal or even black or death metal, you need more than three toms. Having six would be perfect, but five is more than okay. How you gonna do that classic fast circle run across toms if you have just two or three of them? Answer is pretty obvious, it would be lame. More is more. And Hertz drums gives you more, which was a selling point for me. Until I saw and heard first video reviews of the product here on YouTube. And most of them were very discouraging. Drums in those mixes sound very artificial, flat and over compressed. Guitars and bass are overpowering drums. And I started to doubt if I even want to spend several hundreds of dollars to get this product. Then I found this video of Dom Segalas, where he goes through each preset and I was like, the drums itself sound good, very good. Some presets are spot on and overall impression is quite nice. The link to his video is in the description below. So what was the reason behind that poor drum sound and those reviews I mentioned before? And I think that the reason is that people have misconception about what mix-ready drums term really means. So what does it mean? In any way, mix-ready doesn't mean just put us in the mix and we'll got you covered. No, it doesn't work this way. What mix-ready really means is that each piece of the drum kit is processed enough to sound good right from the box. Each sample has been recorded through top-notch gear and fancy console, pre-EQ'd, compressed with real compressors, maybe went through tape, etc, etc. But you can just open the plugin, load your MIDI, add tons of another instruments and wait for pro results in no time without tweaking and actual mixing. Yes, you must tweak and mix these drums just like any other drum sim on the market. You will need to build your own sound and create mix around the drums. Having a lot of cool presets must be treated like you have a road map with different roads to destination point, which is creating a solid mix. Developers of Hertz drums provided you with a lot of options, and it's up to you to create your own vision of your desired drum sound. Let's pretend you play power metal. You see a preset called power metal, you choose it and it feels great until you add your quattro guitars, several leads, keys, orchestration and dozens of vocal tracks and overdubs. And all of a sudden, drums are buried deep in the messy wall of sound that masking all drums attack and transients. Any preset will have no chance unless you start treating given drums as a real thing. But then comes another but. All of your changes and treating must be subtle. You don't wanna squash these drums with tons of compression, limiting, clipping, etc, etc. You don't wanna apply 10 or 12 decibels of boosting highs or cutting several dBs of lows. Why? Just because Hertz drums already sound good, samples are very well recorded and processed. You just need to add that final touch to make it work. Now I will show my approach that worked for me. 
What you're gonna hear is my song that I composed a while ago, totally remixed from the scratch with her drums. It's a blackened death metal song, kinda similar to what Behemoth and Hate are doing. So let's hear how Hertz drums work in a busy mix.
Now let's hear only processed drums. As you can hear, 
Drums sound crisp and clear, they are not overprocessed or overcompressed, and I'm satisfied with both the mix and the drum sound. I'm turning off all effects, and here is what I started with. So, we are in Reaper now, and I will show you step by step what I've done to these drums. I went through all of the presets to find one I liked the most, and it was alt rock. Surprise, surprise! Once again, don't be afraid to choose whatever you like, let the present names not fool you. You like it, you choose it, and you go from there. Then, I'm adding a little bit of a cue, just a roll off at 45Hz to eliminate any rumble and low build ups here. Then, I'm adding Devil Lock, this awesome plugin. And you can see mix is just at 1, just to lift a room and make these drums more ballsy. Next, clipper from BSA Audio to eliminate any red zone clipping, so let's hear. A little bit of clip in here, so EQ. As you see, not a lot of processing, just a tiny touches to polish the sound. Then, as you can see, I have another instance of Hertz drums and it's called Drums Snap. And here I am using this Snap Kit 1 from this new RAW pack. Why I do so? Because I felt like I wanna add this RAW sound to polished drums and to have some snap, some RAW attack and so on. So let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, just to add that click, click, clicky, attacky sound. And adding EQ to eliminate boxiness here. Let's take a listen. Then again, roll off at 50 Hz to eliminate rumble. And filter here at 10k and I have my favorite decapitator plugin which adds even more aggression to the whole sound. Let's hear with and without and with Yeah, so as you see I'm combining two drum kits. So let's hear these two together. I did it to be sure that these drums will cut through the mix, and they do cut through the mix pretty well. Now I have even more of Hertz drums on this track. And this is, as you can see, it's called snare reinforcement. We need to hear what it actually does. Yes, it's only a snare reinforcement. I turn off other kit pieces and left with only snare. With high pitched snare. As you see, all turned off. And here's this Black Beauty snare. High pitched. 
to add even more attack. And here you can see EQ for this snare. I am boosting almost 7k for attack and roll off at 140. So no other processing. Just as I said, these drums don't need a lot of processing at all. Because with a lot of processing, you will just make them lame and you will destroy the vibe and the sound and you don't want that. So also you can see that I flipped the face. And now let's hear how all these three instances of Hertz drums sound together. They sound nice, really nice. And let's take a look at my drum bus. So on drum bus I have only these two plugins from Black Salt Audio. One escalator, just to give more aggression. You can see it only at 5%. Yeah, just a nice touch with a little bit aggression. And clipper one more time to be sure that we do not enter the red zone. So the next step would be to add some parallel compression. And I will show you. Well, it's only one plugin, as you see, this SSL. And let's hear our parallel compression. Yep, we are aiming for 12 dB of gain reduction here. So let's take a look on levels of our drums here. And this is how they sound all together with parallel compression. Yeah, they sound punchy, they sound energetic, and they sound cool. And it's all the processing that I've done. Not much. Just two plugins here, three plugins here, two plugins here, and one here. So not much at all, but the result is great. So don't be shy, but don't overthink and don't overdo. And of course, be sure to hit that high performance button, cause low and medium is for pussies. Stop being a pussy, use high performance. And also don't be shy to go through all of the presets to find the best and use them and create your own drums. Do whatever you want, because with these drums you can allow yourself to be a bad boy. What you need to understand is that key to getting more human sounding drums lies in the manual velocity adjusting. 127 velocity is a no-go until you wanna sound like the Berserker. Also would be cool to have a clue how real life drummers play, how they alternate hits, etc. etc. So how can you humanize Hertz drums even more? Well, you must have the school humanized button engaged all the time. What it does is that when engaged, it changes the pitch of the samples a little bit to make drums sound more realistic. The second step would be go into your piano roll and manually alternate velocity of each important hit. Or you can choose auto humanization option in your DAW, like for 3, 5, turn percents, and then take a listen of how it sounds. If wrong, manually adjust. Third step is a cool feature of Hertz drums. 
It allows you to choose different types of hits depending on MIDI notes. And also you can even decide how which hit is played, either with right or left hand. Thus you can pretend you have a real drummer in front of you. One important thing is that you have a two kicks option for right and left foot and it's awesome for fast double bass drumming. You can choose from a huge amount of samples and make your right and left kick sound a little bit different so it won't play like a one shot trrrr. So with Hertz drums you have a lot of options to choose from and create your own unique sounding drums. Just combine various kit pieces from packs you have and you are good to go. Now to pros and cons. Pros. 1. Big variety of sounds and kit pieces ready to be combined to create a Frankenstein kit. 2. Option to add your own one-shot samples. 3. MIDI Grooves library if you are too lazy to come up with your own drum parts, or you just don't know how to compose them, or you just wanna jam alone with a virtual drummer. 4. Intuitive MIDI mapping. For me, as a die-hard Guitar Pro user since 2004, having numbers instead of notes is a must, as well as having general MIDI map. I compose all my drum parts in Guitar Pro, then I export MIDI and add it to the DAW, so I know all my numbers. For example, my left crash symbol is always must be 49, and my right symbol is 57. With Hertz drums, I can remap any of my kit piece in a blink of an eye. Very convenient for any Guitar Pro users out there. Also, you have a bunch of other mappings too, which is always cool, so don't worry if you compose your drum parts in, say, Superior Drama 3, you can choose Superior mapping in Hertz drums and you're ready to blast. 5. Really well recorded samples. Well, most of them. 6. Ready to go right from the box for quick demoing your songs. I mean, you're in the mood of making a fast recording? Just upload the instance of Hertz drums, grab your guitar and let it flow. 7. You can achieve pro results using Hertz drums, but you need to spend some time. If you know what you're doing, result will be cool. 8. Audience drummer perspective. Nice to have this feature included. 9. You don't need contact installed to run Hertz drums. I don't have problems with contact samplers, but for those who do, consider Hertz drums as a nice alternative. Cons. 1. Price. Well, let's be honest, price for the bundle is quite impressive. And if you're just like me who is I want it all and I want it now mode, I have a bad news for you. You gotta spend a lot of bucks to get it. 2. Absence of full built-in mixer. By that I mean that you'll need to do all of the processing in your DAW with plugins after you launched a multi-out view. Yes, you can adjust some of the parameters in the Hertz drums itself, like amount of reverb or simple volume leveling. You can control amount of effects used, but for serious processing you'll need a multi-out routing and third-party plugins. 3. This one is subjective, and maybe it's only me, but for my taste some of the symbols sound nasty in a bad way. Also, I'm not quite happy with hi-hats and right, especially the bell on the right. But once again, I feel like I can find the one that I'm gonna like just because I have a bunch of them inside the plugin. 4. Not a resizable UI. Well, if you have a huge display, you better have good eyes. For me, I'd prefer bigger and resizable UI that I can stretch to my liking because I have poor eyesight. I hope Hertz drums will make it happen in future updates. 5. Kinda complicated routing and overall interface, at times I was lost in the menus, feels a bit overthought. Conclusion. The main part which is you must understand that this product is described by company as a drum replacement sampler, which means that you're kinda limited in your choice. Earlier you could only use what Hertz drums offers you, mix ready drums for reinforcing or totally replacing live drum tracks. Now. As they released this new Metal Unlimited RAW pack, you can have fully raw samples to work on, just as if you recorded them by yourself. But unlike you, these guys possess a fully equipped with top-notch gear studio, and they know how to record stuff properly. Also, we, bedroom producers on a budget, usually demand a product that sounds awesome just out from the box, and heard drums is this kind of library for sure, and I'm gonna use it for my next projects, because I feel that these drums have a lot of potential. And for now, let's wrap it up. That's all for today guys, and if you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and share that video wherever you want. And if you have some questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them.
Rock on!